Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD Broadcast Studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson, reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Tuesday, July 9th. Tonight we report on some options for Quincy Hospital to reduce their $2.5 million debt and how one Moses Lake man turned his passion into a career. We also look at how the public gets a chance to learn about conducting fundraisers and a proposal to find lawmakers for working during special sessions. In sports, the Mariners picked up a nice win over Boston last night and there's a group of Seahawks fans that are planning to break a world record this season. Our spotlight story tonight is about some of the issues surrounding the Soap Lake Fire Department. And we've got the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, as Quincy's hospital debt to Grant County hovers around $3 million, Treasurer Darrell Pheasant suggested others help with the hospital's bills. The Grant County Commissioners met with Quincy Valley Medical Center's administrator, financial officer, and two board members because of a $2.5 million limit they previously set for how much the hospital can borrow from the county. Commissioner Richard Stevens said the county needs to either increase the limit or the hospital needs to lower the amount it owes. Pheasant asked hospital officials to consider turning to voters for a one-year property tax levy or turning to the city to help either pay off or pay down some of the hospital's debt to the county. Pheasant said the hospital has been above the limit for about two years and has fluctuated between $2.5 million in November of 2012 and $3.1 million back in April of 2013. To learn more about the hospital debt and their options, you can visit us online at ifiber1.com slash news. Music is usually a hobby, but for one Moses Lake man, it's his career. Here with the story is Spencer Graham. Mixing beats to raise the roof. That's what most of us think when looking at the life of a DJ. But there is more to it than that. Lucas Clark, or Big Daddy DJ Live, has made a career out of just that. For almost nine years, he has entertained venues, private and public, and has worked with a number of musical artists. His performance on Saturday night was at Timmy O'Shea's Irish Pub in Moses Lake, where DJ Lucas showed his talent to a late night crowd. Clark says that he has to change his music for every performance based on the demographic of the area. Different locations means different people which require different beats. With hip-hop, a little bit of R&B, reggaeton, a little bit of cumbia as far as demographic, and that all stems back from my background being in a, in a Latin community or Latin demographic. You gotta be able to spin a little bit, a bit of that into your music. An ear for music isn't the only thing a good DJ needs to perform. Clark was happy to show off his impressive equipment that allows his hobby to become his job. Uh, what you see is what you get. When, uh, if you think of an old turntable, this is uh, what you're looking at. You actually have a plate on top of here that works just like a turntable. So if I go past where the needle would be, it drops the beat just like you would if you had a normal turntable. Having entertained so many venues in his career, Clark has undoubtedly seen his fair share of spectacles, some good and some bad. I, I would say probably the most TV appropriate uh, it, experience I had is actually I showed up for a party um, and Sir mix -a -Lot and Maharaji, Kid Sensation, who's now named Cola and everyone, showed up to the same party. I didn't know who they were and someone asked me for a song of theirs and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And next thing I know, they come up on stage and actually started rapping the song live while I was playing it. And most unbelievable experience on a positive note. Of course, I've seen playing negative things, though, too. So. For more information on Big Daddy DJ Live, you can visit djlive101.com, or you can find him on Facebook. For iFiber One News, this is Spencer Graham reporting. Well, he's got the perfect name for that, too, Big Daddy DJ Live. Thanks, Spencer. 
People interested in learning about fundraising techniques for nonprofit organizations are invited to a July 16th workshop in Moses Lake. The workshop takes place from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Moses Lake Chamber of Commerce office at 324 South Pioneer Way. The class will be taught by Bill Burke with Burke Marketing, who will give tips on ways to raise money for nonprofit organizations. The workshop is free, but space is limited. People planning to attend are asked to register by calling 509-765-7888, extension 100, or by sending email to information at moseslake.com. Each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages with the latest from the iFiber One Weather Center. And we've got sports and more news on the way.